y'all. Ms. Apron String is back in the kitchen again having fun. I'm going to, my kids are coming, my daughter and her family is coming up for supper. And you know, I'm going to put something good on my table and we're going to talk a whole bunch and I'm going to see what those grandkids have been doing. Maybe my daughter too. But I'm going to do uh, something that to me is simple and easy and I want to share with you more of a method um, than something brand new, I guess. They had chuck roast on sale, so I bought a big family pie and I've cut it into little hunks, okay? And I put seasoned salt, Lori seasoned salt, and then I added some extra onion and garlic powder on it and rolled it in flour. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm uh, browning it off in the skillet. I want You wanna brown each little piece, then I'm gonna put it in the Instapot. And I will bring you back in just a minute and show you what else I'm doing. I've got it all floured and ready to brown each little piece over here on the uh, in the skillet. Now, there's my big thing out of the Instapot. I'm going to put it from here into there, and then I'm going to make a thin, thin brown gravy, and I'm going to pressure it for about an hour and 20 minutes. And we're going to have these cooked tomorrow. While I'm in the process of browning this meat off, I want to um, tell y'all something that you probably know, but a few people probably don't. You know, they'll put a little thing of stew meat on sale, and it's sky high. If you will buy a chuck roast, a shoulder roast, a roast when they put them on sale, like $1.97 a pound, and cut it up in your little pieces, you've got stew meat to make soup with. And if you're going to make a soup, a good thing to do is to boil that, cut your little pieces up, and boil that meat for about 10-15 minutes and drain that juice off. Put fresh juice on, and it takes away that old strong, beefy, bloody, whatever taste. There's a restaurant in Humble, and that's how they would do theirs, and their soup was wonderful. So, you know, you just boil it just enough to get some of that blood out of the meat, and then, re and then go ahead and cook it, and it has a whole different flavor. But don't waste your money on stew meat, or go ahead and get a roast and cut it up and you'll have a whole lot more for your money. Now I gotta get some more out of the skillet because it's brown and I've got a bunch more to put in to get it all browned off and then I'm gonna get it in the Instapot on high for about an hour and 20 minutes and I should have good tender beef tips to go with some rice. Oh, y'all wanna know what we're having with it? I have some canned green beans that I put up from our garden last year I think it was last year, and um, came through Louisiana the other day, coming back from my vacation, and man, I wanted some tasso. Those Louisiana people know about how to smoke meat for seasoning. Well, the little store I wanted to stop at to get tasso, I passed up my road. So I was coming on into Texas, and right outside of Beaumont, there's a place that has really good sausage, and I stopped in to get some, and guess what? They had tasso. So it's like big pieces of lean meat, pork, is what I get. That's been smoked. Oh my goodness, it smells like the smokehouse at my grandpa's. So I cut little pieces of it up, and that's what I've got in the green beans. And then I uh, cooked them just like I showed y'all in the video. And I made the thickened cream salt corn like I showed you in another video. And so we're going to have... Um, beef tips and rice and corn and green beans and there's one more thing I'm going to make and I'll go ahead and tell you what it is because you're going to see the video. You'll either see the video before you see this one or right after this one. It's going to be okra fritters and it's like fried okra in a little fried cornbread thing. So that's what we're having tonight to go with our beef tips. I've got my um, beef tips all in the pot uh, to the Instapot. And I added two quarts of my beef bone broth. And I added a couple of uh, three tablespoons of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and salt and pepper to taste. And I've got that um, heating, getting ready to pressure. And I'm, like I said, an hour and 20 minutes. I'm making a brown gravy here. And if y'all have watched the hamburger steak video, you'll see my proportions and how I make brown gravy. And when the beef tips get done, I'm simply going to pour this gravy into the juice from the beef tips and from the um, bone broth that they're cooking in. 
and it'll make it real flavorful to put over the rice. But I'll show y'all that when I get to that step. My uh, Instapot it simply is says that it's on. When it reaches its temperature, then the pressure will start to, to count. So I'll be glad when it's done. I'm hungry. I'm going to be using my, my large rice cooker today. And I've got uh, four cups of rice and nine cups of water and three-fourths of one stick of butter and uh, a little bit of salt, tablespoon of onion powder and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a package of Lipton's onion soup mix. I use that a whole lot just to add some extra flavor. If I were not using that, I would have put a tablespoon of uh, chicken or beef better than bouillon because I like for the rice to be flavored too. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this rice cooker going and it'll take it about 20 minutes and then we'll have good fluffy rice to go with our beef tips and our green beans and our corn and um, I don't think I'm going to get the okra fritters done today but they'll be in the next day or two y'all will see them. Okay y'all here's your close-up of the beef tips and rice and they are fork tender they're so yummy. And my family's here, and we're fixing to sit down and eat. Hey, y'all, I've got my supper ready. What did y'all make for supper? We're having beef tips and rice, creamed corn, southern creamed corn, green beans with tasso that we grew, and uh, okra fritters. And y'all will get all of the video. Well, you've already got the beans and the corn. You've already got videos for that. The beef tips and rice is today, and tomorrow will be the okra fritters, and they are delicious. So, I'm fixing to go over there to the table, cut off my cell phone, and sit down with my family and make some memories. And y'all come back tomorrow, and I'll give you another recipe so you can sit down at your table and make memories. Be sure to thank the good Lord, say your prayers before you eat, before you go to bed, and I'll be back tomorrow.